Welcome to Firearms Friday from the Wyoming State Museum in Cheyenne. I'm Evan Green. I'm the firearms historian for the museum. And as I'm going through the vault and the drawers and the collection, I run on to things that I think are interesting to me and might be interesting to you as well. So what we have today is a collection of handmade knives and one bludgeon instrument here. So uh, these are often called ranch-made knives that were put together uh, somewhere other than a factory. They were often made from files or horseshoe rasps, uh, other, other steel that would be hard enough to serve as a knife blade. This one is kind of cool and fairly well made. It's got wooden stocked, wooden grips on it, held in place by what appear to be stove bolts. And I can't tell what the blade was, although it might have been a file, but there's no evidence of that. Uh, and the sheath looks like it might have been actually factory made. The stitching looks uh, factory made to me. But anyway, that's one. Homemade knife or a ranch knife. This one, this one I think is cool. This one was obviously made from a Nicholson saw blade and pretty useful because it's got, it retained the teeth of the crosscut saw here across the top. So uh, when you're cleaning out a big game animal in order to do an effective job of removing the entrails, you got to cut through the pelvic bone and it would be very useful to do that. But the, the bolts that hold the grips on uh, are marked Nicholson, and they are the bolts that would have held the saw handle on the saw blade before somebody decided to make a knife out of it. The only thing that I would struggle with, maybe, is that the, the handle itself is very square, so it might abrade your hand and would not be the most comfortable uh, knife to use because of that square handle. This one I know nothing about. The uh, grip is obviously antler. Uh, the cross piece, I don't know what it is or what the blade is, but I just thought it was kind of an interesting, interesting old knife and again obviously handmade. So this next series all came from the Wyoming Frontier Prison. They are shanks that were made by prisoners inside the facility. And when the, when the prison closed, uh, these, were, these were donated to the State Museum. And it's kind of, kind of scary you know, that somebody would go to the extent to, to manufacture something like this for self-protection or uh, offensive use in that facility. Um, this one, kind of cool. The guy made a handle out of leather and attached it to the blade. And this, this is just interesting. This is actually an impact weapon. And this was confiscated from a young man who was being transferred from the uh, boys' school in Worland to the state prison. And I don't, know, I don't know what this is made of. It's quite heavy. It's almost like it's lead, but has this wrist strap on it and would have, been, would have been an impact weapon. So I was fortunate. My first job with the state of Wyoming was with the Governor's Planning Committee on Criminal Administration. And it was a pass-through agency giving federal grants, basically, to all components of the criminal justice system. And one of the areas that we funded was corrections, so in 1977, I was able to have a very extensive tour of the Frontier Prison in Rollins, uh, courtesy of Dwayne Schillinger, who was the warden at the time. And it was, it was impactful experience. Everything I thought I knew about prisons was from movies and TV. This was really different. And I don't remember if we had to sign a release, but it was made very clear to us when we went through, uh, another coworker and I went through with, with the warden, that if we were captured and held hostage, they were not making any concessions to get us back. So we were there uh, at our own risk. So anyway, 
some homemade bladed weapons. So thank you for watching. If you got any comments or questions, put them in the section below or give the museum a call and they'll take a message and I'll try to get back to you. Thanks for watching.